five, four, three, two, one, and off you go. Enjoy. Have a great day out there. Go, Bobby! On the Edge events put on this Scenic Rim Run series. This is the third race in the series, 15 Ks. We're about 45 minutes out of Brizzy. You can see we go straight uphill. So literally within about 300 meters of the start line, we go up this mountain. Pretty rocky underfoot. In fact, there was every possible surface to run on. I'm just out of breath immediately. In fact, for the first kilometer, I felt really average. Bit of single track, fallen trees to jump over. This race had it all. Now at this point I thought, okay, we're at the top. This looks like a lookout. Not that I managed to enjoy the view. But little did I know, we aren't at the top. So some of it was really scrubby few areas didn't really know where the trail went but they had these little pink markers everywhere so you just had to follow those another tree to jump over this section here you're almost rock hopping through this part if you want to do a good hard race this is the race for you and those pink markers were easy to see so we're still going uphill heart rate's about 3,000 this is the dude you saw there that I was running with. He managed to gap me already. And there he was again. We're both hiking up this section. I reckon my heart rate was up over 160. Trying to do a bit of power walking or whatever they call it. I'm not sure how successful that is. Every time I could, I started to run again. I thought it was agonising. This part, now I'm looking at the vid, looks beautiful. I don't really remember enjoying it at the time. So we're still going up. You can see there 3K in about 23 minutes. So pretty slow, pretty slow going. This opened up a little bit this area. But there was rocks under all the grass, so it was pretty tough. Now this dude caught me coming downhill and we had a bit of a tassel for the rest of the race. He was a really good downhill runner. My Achilles heel is running downhill, I'm terrible at it. And riding downhill for that matter. But I really brace and I just can't let myself flow. So we've got about 2k on this bitumen road and then we come into this puddle. So this was the only puddle in the entire race. We have to go through this twice, of course. So you really want to try to keep your feet warm, your feet warm, your feet dry, but there goes that theory. And here's my mate up ahead. So I was a bit better on the uphills and he was much better on the downhills. So 6k in just under 40 minutes. So it's 15k remembering this race. And I pulled up next to him, so we ran side by side going around for the second lap. So 46 minutes at the halfway point. Here he is on my side. Now in my mind I thought I'm going to get you going uphill. But is he going to get me coming down again? So up we go again. So it's close to 3k. Straight up. And doing the power hiking most of it this time. I was about 2 minutes slower second lap going up this this mountain, I just couldn't run. I think most people were hiking. Excuse the sniffly nose, it was pretty cold. So at one point I thought, oh no, my calf's gonna go. And I gave it a bit of a rub there, and at this point I actually thought, if it gets worse, I'm gonna turn around and walk back to the start finish. But it actually survived, thank God, because I've got the 50K trail run in two weeks. Sun coming through the trees there was beautiful. So I did roll my ankle on the first lap. I've got 
weak, ankle, weak ankles, I think. Up a few of the stairs. This is really steep here. So second time round. Not at the top. Close to. Here's this jungly area. You certainly can't run through this. I was being really cautious of my ankle because, as I said, I rolled it on that first lap. I can't say I really enjoyed myself on this morning, if I'm to be completely honest. But I did it. So 9K, just over an hour. So I took the splits every 3K. And we're still going up. It seemed like it was going to go up forever, second lap. Don't remember being this long. First time round. And I walked most of it on the second lap. So I'm in the top 10 overall. And there's no girls in front of me, which I was happy about. In fact, the girl who is somewhat of an elite runner, I'm told, who won, was a couple of minutes behind me at the finish. So I was pretty happy about that. So nice to know I didn't get checked. I had about a litre of water on me there in my vest. Had my infinite nutrition in one bottle and just water in the other. And I pretty well drank all of that in this 15k. And downhill we go again. So I knew this guy who caught me first lap was going to be coming around again. So I really just wanted to try to hold him off. I tried to let myself go a little bit going downhill. By that I mean just go a little bit quicker, have a little bit more confidence in myself. And it kind of worked, as you'll see. So 12K in 121. Thank you. And you'll see him coming up next to me. So this is at the bottom of that hill before we turn back onto the bitumen road. So first time round he caught me sort of two thirds down, this time he didn't catch me to the road and I felt confident I could run quicker than him once we were back on the pavement. Back through that puddle again, just in case our feet dried. And I'm pretty well getting into it here. It's a race on between me and this other bloke. And I hadn't turned around, but as you can see from that angle, he's nowhere to be seen, but I didn't know that. And that's the first time I turned around. And we turn down here to the left to the finish. He went straight to the right there, you go around for another lap. Quite an evil finish, all uphill. And into the finishing chute. And I was pretty happy to see that, let me tell you. And if you have a look here, my mate's sprinting for the line. He was just behind me. I was pretty happy with that. Checking out my splits. Recovery three days. Oh my god 1294 calories so that's that's a lot of calories for 14.89 kilometers 619 pace well 619 is all i had tough tough little event thanks for running with me